How's it going YouTube pipe smoking community? It's a Piper here and today I'll be doing another review video and I will be doing a review video of this beautiful near up tobacco pipe. And if you guys like these videos, feel free to stick around, make sure to like and subscribe and we're going to get right into this pipe. Let's do it. First of all, I just got to say, I got I to gotta thank the, the wife over here for buying me this nice new pipe shirt and as well as this this new pipe. It was my birthday, so she uh, kind of treated me recently with this nice new pipe. And you never know when someone gives you a pipe if it's going to be a good one or if it's going to be a, a shot in the dark. Um, and this one was actually, I think she was doing her research, my friends, because I was doing the, um, I was on the Googles and I was on uh, tobaccopipes.com looking at some pipes. And I saw this one. And if you've, if you're not familiar with this style, it's it's technically like a they call it like a pot style uh, tobacco pipe. Um, it has like this almost like, looks like a, a witch's cauldron almost. Um, that's like your main tobacco pipe. And it's just big bulky and it fits in your hand. Very comfortable. Um, it's nice, smooth. Uh, it's not smooth, I should say. It's sandblasted if you can kind of see that. But when I say smooth, it's smooth the smoke out of. Um, let me just show you guys a nice little close up of this. Especially that mouthpiece. I just really like that that mouthpiece. Really nice. Um, it's all made out of briar, uh, which is a nice, nice, good wood that us pipe smokers usually like to smoke out of. Um, nice acrylic mouthpiece too, so it's not really gonna crap out on you or get scuffed up too much. Um, it is a very big bowl. I mean, very big. But this goes re literally right up to my big knuckle. Um, it's not that wide of a bowl, but it's definitely a, a deeper bowl. So if you're trying to look for a nice lounge smoking mm -hmm. pipe or oh, leave me alone. Um, if you are trying to go for a nice smooth pipe, a nice big, big chambered one, something that you can kind of relax on, uh, this would probably be the pipe for you. Um, I got this off of tobaccopipes.com or I should say the wife probably got it off of tobaccopipes.com. Um, uh, it, it was definitely in the hundred dollars. So if you're trying to look for a nice gift or something that's kind of treating yourself, um, this would probably be one. Um, and for that price, you are going to be getting a really good pipe too. So, um, definitely not something that's going to junk out on you. Um, how does it smoke? Uh, it smokes really good. And I think the only way we can kind of try it out now is if we, if we pack it up, right? Got to pack up. Gotta pack it up. All right, so let's see. What would be a good tobacco? Oh, let's try this one. <clears throat> All right. Let's give this one a go. So today I will be smoking um, out of the near up. <clears throat> I will be smoking the Barbados Plantation. Uh, it's a sweet Barbados Rome, smooth and rich. And this is by uh, Sutliff Company. This is the private stock. Um, if you have tried their Malto Dolce or a Taste of Summer, um, <clears throat> I just went out of my way and I kind of treated myself to all the private stocks because because <laughs> I just figured if 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 Malta Dolce tastes that good. I can only imagine what the other ones taste like. And they're not really expensive. I think they're like $9 per tin. So nice, good, cheap tobacco. Um, so I will be smoking the Near Up. I think it's called a Near Up 6, if I could be. It's a Near Up Structure Series GR2. So this is the Series GR2. Probably should have said that at the beginning. <laughs> uh, and it's made in Denmark. Pretty cool. So yes, this is a very big bowl. Uh, definitely, definitely a big bowl. Mm. The fingers smell good. All right.
this is a good pipe. Like I said, it's smooth when you smoke it. It's a non-filtered one, so I really don't get any Scoobies or anything like that. As long as you're pipe packing it right and you're maintaining your pipe, cleaning it out every now and then, really that shouldn't be a problem. Um, the one thing I will admit though, uh, it's a, a heavy, heavy piece. Um, so you're really not gonna be doing any clenching with it. Um, if you do, it will feel like Popeye the Sailor Man just literally just roundhouse kicked you in the face. Um, so I wouldn't really be clenching it with this one. Like I said, this is a kind of like a chill. You're going to uh, an event, or you're hanging out at a lounge, or you're playing poker. You're you know you're you're playing some pool or something like that. This is a nice little kind of puffer. Um, the bowl's really big, so you don't really have to pack it so much and everything like that. If you do see me light this bowl a few times, it has nothing to do with um, the pipe. Uh, it's me and it's the tobacco. Um, some days, I've noticed, some days I can pack a bowl really good. Some days I just can't. It's kind of like carpentry. I don't know if we have any people that do carpentry out here, but some days you'll go to work and you'll just look and you'll get everything done. You'll get the framing done, you're, you're doing the measurements, and you're, it's, a, it's a very um, eventful day. And then there's some days you go into work and you you can't even like sweep the floor. You're just so, I don't know, it's just off days. Um, I kind of get that with pipe smoking every now and then. Some days I'll be really good at lighting it and packing it. And some days I'm just not that good. And that will usually tell me how my day is going to go. Which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I will admit, the um, all these um, Sutliff private stocks, they're, they're aromatics. Uh, so when you open it up, I mean, I haven't had time to even dry this out. I mean, it's it's just completely sopping wet. It's just like a multi. You can feel the moist just in it when you pick it up. It's definitely a moist one. Um, haven't had time to really dry it out, so that's probably why this is getting out. Anyway, I don't want to keep this a super long video. Um, this is just a nice nice tobacco pipe that I was gifted, and I really haven't had time to talk about it. Um, I've just had time to smoke out of it and enjoy it. Um, so I, I definitely think it's definitely one to have in your collection. Uh, it's a nice big, big chambered pot, and I just, I don't know, I just really like it. It's comfortable. If you guys were looking at the Nero pipes, I strongly recommend them. Um, they have some pretty cool looking pipes and um, they're not super expensive, not over the top, nothing crazy. And um, I don't know, just nice nice looking tobacco pipes you got right here. Um, so again, I, I'm not trying to keep this a super long video. kind of want to keep it under 10 minutes for you guys. Um, I hope you guys didn't find this video uh, beneficial or helpful. Maybe you were trying to look at one of these pipes. Maybe it's one for you, maybe not for you. Um, this is definitely one for me. Uh, it's a nice little uh, relaxing pipe just to have. Um, so again, Piper logging out. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this delicious tobacco here, uh, the Barbados Plantation. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you all so much for the comments, the likes. If you did like this video, feel free to subscribe. Uh, let's try to get the channel up to 100 subscribers. I'm pretty stoked about that. It's grown pretty rapidly, which I'm, I'm pretty happy about. Uh, so uh, thank you all so much. Happy smokings. Cheers. Have a good one.